Hi everyone, this is CVGS, it's me, Leon, and before we get started, uh, we would like to apologize for the late release of this video, as uh, we got our stuff pretty late due to the COVID-19 restriction in Singapore, and the card arrived later than we initially planned. Alright, but however, in any case, today we bring you the latest set and an, of an official start to the new beginning of Battle Speed History, and, and that is the BS52 Tensei Hen Dai Isho Returner. Or the Rebirth Saga Volume 1 Returner. Alright? The set contains the highly anticipated set of cards that boost and uh, upgrade the the TD itself for the latest mechanic called Tensei, where the cards are two-sided A and B, side which you flip when the cards are conditions are met. And of course, new set and uh, means new rarity. Uh, means more card types and will be featured in this box set. So let's take a look at it. So for this set, there will be 45 commons, 15 rares, 12 master rares, 9 x rares, and 3 double x rares. And additionally, it has the 12 rebirth uh, rares, 3 rebirth x rares, and 11 promo cards, which 6 of them uh, will be box topper uh, CP, and the rest of them will be inside the box itself. Uh, now for, uh, we have that out of the way, uh, let us look at the packaging and the featuring cards. On the cover itself, we have three of the Tensei x rays right here, and as well as one of the new uh, Grand Walker, and her name is Vivian, uh, Vina, sorry, Vienna, is that how you pronounce it? Uh, should be. And at the back, we have the supporting x ray spirit for the Tensei X themselves. Woohoo, right over here, nice stuff. Okay, but before we take a look at the inside, uh, you might notice the BS Point sticker is missing. Unfortunately, BS Point Exchange have officially stopped in Japan. However, don't throw away the points uh, that you have been seeing there. For more details and updates of the exchange, the link is in the description below. And feel free to answer questions there. Alright, and uh, then moving on. When you open the box, you'll be greeted with one of the six box topper uh, CP as I mentioned earlier, while the rest are inside. So here you go, here is just one of those uh, CPs, out of the uh, six box topper, as I said it again. So yeah, it looks pretty cool and it's in a very nice 3D falling for the Saga Brave at the bottom. The next, we will look at the uh, booster themselves. The boosters themselves are also nicely decorated just as the uh, box itself, however a bit poor thing the the Tensei X here has uh, been hit by the packaging. We can't see him up here. But that's alright, that's alright. This is also introduction to the new Block 7. Alright, behind is the rest of the details of the packaging if you need to know if you can read Japanese. And each pack contains about 6 cards. And that's roughly about it for the booster themselves. Alright, and without further ado, let us get into the box content itself and we'll see you in a bit. And we are back. Uh, we have the X-Ray laid out here as we will be taking a good look at this X-Ray as well as the promo card only. So for more details and official translation for the set or uh, the current releases, please check out World of Cards in the Facebook page. The, the link is in the description right below. Okay, right before we get started going to the X-Ray, since we have Tensei Rares here, some new players may be confused as to uh, how they work since they are two-sided cards like this. So. Uh, when you open up the packs, one of the things you will get will be the Tensei proxies, which will look like this. So these cards themselves will be used, will serve as a proxy in your deck when you sleeve it up and all. So it will indicate as which of the Tenseis that you are using, and when you play them, you just simply take the actual card out from your side and then you play onto the field. And whenever that Tensei uh, card leaves the field, you will just simply. Um, be taken out of the game and replaced with this once again. Alright, okay, so without further ado, let's just look at the first uh, Tensei X-Ray that we have today and apparently we are lucky enough to get the Red Wall actually. The Red Wall is one of the uh, three of the Tensei X-Rays that, uh, that will be in this set. So the name is the Red Wall. Family under Origins, which is also under the new family archetype. The effect is level 1 Rebirth. When you have 5 counters or less, Rebirth cannot be used at the same time. So let's say you have multiple Tensei cards on the table, and they all meet their condition at the same time somehow, you cannot activate them all together. So you must do it, uh, so you can only do it one at a time. 
I'm not even talking like in a process wise or something. Sort of just simply you cannot like flip all of them together like that. Okay. So, anyways, when your red spirit of course five or more attacks, or if this nexus leaves your field through and uh, through your opponent, you may send your soul call to this spirit and flip this nexus. Level one. When this nexus is deployed, uh, is this, uh, deployed, destroy one opposing spirit of the lowest BP. Level one. Uh, the next ability, during your attack step, at the end of the battle for your spirits with only colored red of original cost 5 or more, send one call from your opponent's life to the reserve. This effect cannot be duplicated. Okay, so this uh, that one of the things about the world cards, right? The red world, the blue world, and the white world, is that they all have this one thing where they are basically universal for any colors to uh, for any of the respective colors to play. And it's very flexible. You can be playing a Kamen Rider Red deck. You can also be playing uh, the others, the other Red decks also. And it will still work because it simply work. Uh, it only says colors. It's just only simply restricted by colors and not by any other uh, means like archetype or whatsoever for this world cards. Okay. Since it's a Nexus, also it doesn't. Uh, you don't have to worry about spirit space and all that stuff. So if you're playing Nexus, this is a good uh, card to place. Okay, next is the B side of this card, which is the Red God Dragon Emperor. Okay, so it's also under family of origin, Ancient Dragon. Okay, when this if uh, when this side is flipped up, your counter is plus one. Add one call from the void to your counter area. Counter area can be anywhere on the table or on the field, so long you know where to keep track of them. Okay, then next it's this level one ability. When this spirit rebirths, destroy one opposing spirit of BP 10,000 or lower. If you have two or more counters, increase the limit of this BP destruction effect by another 10,000. So basically 20,000 in total. The next ability is Restoration. When this spirit leaves your field through an opposing effect, you can flip and deploy. Lastly, level 1. All your red spirit with original cost 5 or more gains one additional red symbol and this effect cannot be duplicated. Okay, this is nasty. So this side is basically not just that it's small. It only has six thousand power, but that's all right because you need to know that when this thing comes, when this thing turns, you're destroying at least ten thousand, and that's already quite a right range. And if you have if you have two or more counters, it increases that limit. However, you only can destroy destroy spirit, so it may be a little less effective against ultimate decks. Okay, but however, it does have restoration. Which is also a cool ability where this card leaves the field through an opposing effect. Somehow if they destroy it by a uh, bloody and destroy lowest BP or it gets sent away, sent back to deck, sent to hand, you can actually flip this card back to its uh, A side and redeploy it. So it will basically remain on field. So the only way to somehow get rid of this is actually force it into combat will be the best. Or through a this effect cannot be negated perhaps. This one of those ways. And of course, Giving all your red spirit of original cost 5 or more gains an additional red symbol is also a very good plus considering that unlike its A site, the A site says that pure red, if I recall, uh, it gains of only color red, sorry. Yep. So this site only says only of color red, but this only says red. So if you're a mixed color uh, cut, they will also get its additional uh, red symbol in addition to whatever you already has, making it very good and I'm looking at you, Camera the Fice plus the mood and I will really will want to try this with my Fice. Okay, so now moving on to the next card is the next X-Ray, X-Ray 01. This is the uh, main primary X-Ray of the set which also help to support the Tensei themselves and it's also basically uh, universal. Okay, so this is the Rousing Dragon Emperor, Reversal Dragon of the Family Origin, Rouse Emperor and Dragon. Okay, so level 1, 2 and 3, when this spirit attacks, you can destroy one opposing spirit of BP equal or less than this spirit. In addition, if you have 3 or more uh, cards with the only color red in your trash, for every 2 counters that you have, you may send one call from your opponent's life to the void, maximum of 4. This life uh, reduction effect can only be used once per game. 
Okay, next moving on to his level 2 and 3. When this spirit attacks, for each counter you have, this spirit gains one additional rate symbol to the maximum of three. So basically what he's telling you is that he potentially can one-shot you if done right. So if you look at the first ability, when uh, you can destroy one opposing spirit or lower or BP equal or less than this spirit, which is uh, the range isn't quite is quite a decent, 12k. 12k is quite a decent range. And if you have three or more cards uh, of card only color red in your trash, for every two counters you have, you may set you, uh, you may send one call from your opponent's life to the void. So meaning that if you play a pure red deck in contrast with the Tensei X itself, chances are that this will be very effective and you can shoot up to maximum of four lives if you have four counters at least. And if you already lost one, he would just die from the effect damage immediately. Which is very very dangerous. I like it. It looks like a phoenix despite it says dragon, but I really like this card. I mean, I'm a red player, of course I like this card. Okay, next we are moving on is to the to the new Grand Walker edition that is added to the set. And it's also another one of the supporting cards for the Tenseis themselves. Okay, so this is the Guiding Maiden Vienna. Okay, Vienna is a Grand Walker of Origin and Navigator. So it call charges on Origin, of course 3 and higher. And Rebirth Nexus. You see Tensei Nexus, which is this guy again. And the level 1 and 2, you may add one Rebirth card from your hand uh, from the cards that were sent to the trash by this Nexus Call Charge. So basically, when you Call Charge away your Tensei uh, Nexus, or your, sorry, your Tensei cards in general, uh, you can add them to your hand. Next is this Grand Skill, level uh, is a cost 4, level 1 and 2. Flash during both players attack step. Once per turn, you will send four cards from the Nexus to the Void. Refresh one of your spirit from the family origins. This included when it's on the B side. Okay. Then the Grand Field level two is when you summon, deploy, play a card from the family origin. Treat one of the reduction symbol as fulfilled. This effect cannot be duplicated. So in exchange for not having any symbol and a cost one card, right? She herself helps to support uh, to play the origin set, which is this current set, to help reduce uh, their colors, uh, their reduction regardless of their colors, which is very very helpful. Um, basically, in some sense, it's kind of like um, it's an all color reduction, except only specifically when you play, deploy, or summon a origin card. Still helpful, especially if you are starting from this set onwards. This will be a good. Uh, extra to start to put into your deck. Moving on is the first of its kind apparently as I hear. It's actually a spell, a spell extra. If you are counting Brave uh, Brave Eyes from 44, uh, but that's a CP extra so we don't count that, that's his own category. But this guy, the God Breaker. Okay, so this is a spell card. This, fam this card has a family of origin, type field. If this card is on your field, activate one of the following effects. All Grand Walker Nexus symbol is treated as zero. Both decks cannot be discarded by effects of Ultimate uh, Spirit and Ultimate except from the family origin. Okay, next. It has a flash ability. Draw one card from your deck. In addition, destroy one opposing Grand Walker Nexus, not from the family origin. This effect cannot be guarded by Grand Force. After that, send this card to your field. So this is a basically anti uh, non origin Grand Walker card. So it's very helpful to help to control. Um, like let's say your opponent is doing Grand Force Rush, and you can cast this to disrupt them and destroy their Grand Walker. Because one thing about one thing about uh, Grand Force for those who are not aware is that Grand Walkers would that can turn into spirits and go into attack, and usually they cannot die unless by another Grand Walker's means. And usually, even that on its own is actually quite difficult from time to time. And this is the first of the kind of its kind of a spell that allows it to directly destroy that. And in addition to the Vienna, with this, you already get one free color reduction due to the fact that it's a origin card. And if you have played with another color, easily this will have this redux reduced too. And if you somehow have two Vienna or three Viennas on the table. Whoa, I tell you, it's just basically 3 reduction. All the way you're getting 3 reduction the entire way. And that would be so helpful. And 
It's not broken, but it's definitely a good addition to play. Lastly, we have one of the CP uh, Grand Walker that is actually a Tensei. The thing is that they are reintroducing some of the already uh, existing Grand Walkers as Tensei to help to support the game. And this is quite interesting. This is the Hermes Pass. Okay. So it doesn't have the same name as the Hermes that you are playing at the, of the previous uh, set all the way uh, quite back last year. Okay, or two years ago, cannot remember. Okay, so this is Hermes Pass. Okay, Origin, Visitant, and Blade Beast. This card is also treated as Grand Walker Hermes. Okay, when this spirit is summoned, add one call each to this spirit and one of your other rebirth spirits. Okay, this level 2, Rebirth. When you have 5 counters or less, Rebirth cannot be used at the same time as before. When your opponent's life is reduced, or if this spirit leaves your field through an opponent, you may flip this spirit, send all calls uh, to the reserve. So when you flip it over, it becomes the Hermes Future. So it's a Grand Walker Origin. So when this side is flipped up, it remains on the field and your counter is plus one. So you add one call to the void to the counter area. So again, just uh, you just go in straight into the Grand Walker mode. So this uh, is call charge on green. Call charge through summon and descend once per turn. So you cannot spam uh, charge. So it has a level 1 and 2 when the spirit rebirths. Send one opposing exhausted spirit to the bottom of the deck and all add two calls from the void to this nexus okay so you either choose to send or you choose to add call level uh, grand skill level one uh, grand skill one call level two flash during your attack step once per turn send one call from this nexus to the void you may refresh one of your green spirit from the family origin and or uh, slash blade beast so this is a good addition to already existing Hermes, who is already fast enough as it is. This helps to add the edge, considering that it not only helps to boost core, it can also send cards away on its own. So, making an, of course it has the Hermes name, it actually helps to forward the agenda, uh, forward the Hermes deck, the Blade Beast deck itself even more effectively, because just simply because of the namesake, right? And this is just uh, one of the CP Grand Walker uh, Tensei Rares that you can find in this set along with the other two which is basically Af uh, Aphrodite as well as Dionys I think this is another yeah Dionys so yeah and with that said thank you all for watching I, uh, if you like what you see here today do remember to subscribe to us on our channel and ring the bell for to be notified of our further uh, new videos and further updates and do follow us on all our socials which will be Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter as well as Discord. Uh, Discord over there brand, people like Brandon, Jungle will be there on the most nice to discuss more card effects as well as we during times like this. And with that said thank you all for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye!